We're in the color palette control pane of TTG High Slide Gallery Pro. Since recording the last video, I've found that the car we've been looking at in these demonstrations has been the Nissan 350Z, and so I've made that change to my gallery title, as well as making a few other layout adjustments, mostly using controls we've already looked at. Up until now, we've been primarily concerned with uh, the look of the page and not so much with the functionality of the gallery. That's all about the change. Uh, we're now going to get into the high slide modes, which is where TTG High Slide Gallery Pro begins to get pretty meaty. The high slide modes will affect the overall look and behavior of your gallery. Uh, so it's a very important to make the right decision when you're getting to this point in the process. Um, so to find that control for the high slide mode, we're going to go to the color palette control pane, locate high slide options, and then just beneath this block of orange text, uh, there's a pull out menu for high slide mode. There are several options in here, uh, which boil down to a total of four different modes. There's disable gallery, proofing, slideshow, and then there's four different kinds of uh, inline slideshow, which are basically variations of the same mode. So I'm going to tackle each one of these in a separate video. Uh, the first is also the easiest, and that's Disable Gallery. There are no options for this mode. Uh, you enable it, your images go away. Now it's not very useful if you want to create an image gallery, but if you need to make a page that just has uh, a block of text on it, you can disable the images and just use the gallery description to provide a page of information. So that's the first high slide mode. And in the next video, we're going to start looking at uh, the slideshow mode, which is easily the most robust uh, and has the most number of options of any of the high slide modes. So I'll see you in the next video.